down, settle down, baby. An education from Samuel L. Jackson. This classroom is our sanctuary. Respect. All boils down to the three R's. Some kid with a nail showed me I was living in his world. Revenge, retaliation. A world where chaos rules. And respect. The only thing you respect is stupidity. The one and only Samuel L. Jackson. The premiere of 187, Tuesday at 9 on 5. When I was younger, I really wanted to play professional football. In fact, I had a trial for Crystal Palace in 1988. It didn't work out, and by the time I was 17, I knew it wasn't for me. I'm in a team now, not exactly a football team. I work for Customs and Excise on what's called a fast team. That's a flexible anti-smuggling team. And our main job is to stop smuggling. We're a very close team. Um, we have to be because we, we, you know, we rely on each other. We literally eat, sleep, and drink together, really. Um, if someone's stopped, um, it just it doesn't just involve one officer. In fact, um, there'll be an officer there to make a search, and there, there may be an officer there to make an arrest if it's necessary. We're doing we're doing very well at the moment. We've had some really good results. The old idea of a, a, a customs officer is, is a bloke standing there putting chalk crosses on suitcases. Actually, a lot of our time now is spent uh, looking at intelligence, and, and intelligence has advanced so much these days that we spend a lot more time uh, behind the scenes, so you don't see us out there so much. And uh, computers, computers have changed the way we work. Um, we, can, we can process information so quickly now. Dogs have definitely changed the way we work. Um, a person can, can, can watch a certain amount of passengers coming off a plane, whereas a dog can sniff a whole flight. Yeah. And you wouldn't believe some of the things that, that we come across. You get, you get a bloke who's swallowed like, a stomach full of drugs, and we come through and we detect the drugs, and he says, well, I don't know how they got there. The main excuse that people come out with when we, um, when we find something um, in their bag is that they didn't pack the bag themselves. You can tell by the way somebody answers a question that they're lying. If you get caught smuggling a, a Class A drug, you can effectively be um, sent away for life. And what I like about the job is that it's not routine, it's not nine to five. You know, one day you could be dealing with uh, firearms, the next day it's drugs. And the people as well. Um, you, you meet all sorts of different people, nice people, horrible people, really horrible people. Yeah, you never know who you're going to meet. Drug smuggling carries very heavy penalties, and if you're caught, it'll affect the rest of your life. We're doing a very good job, but you can help us do even better. Support customs and their fight against drugs. If you see anything suspicious, call this number. 0800 595 000. The next time you go away, make sure you know what's in your bag. Desert, watching Daredevil Brady Michaels take his final practice jump before Wednesday's terrifying TV stunt. Brady's already done the skydive to the top of the balloon and the abseil down the side. So let's join Tyler live in the chopper cam. Oh, he's let go. Brady has let go of the rope. Uh, well, yes, uh, see Brady, we hope, on I Dare You starting Wednesday at 8 on 5. Forty were on a different planet, or at least in a different continent, for prisoner cell block H. Now, though, tonight's last movie of actors and espionage, and till we meet again. We've given this classic film a G for guidance rating because it contains scenes that deal with adult themes that some parents might feel are unsuitable for children. <laughs>